Welcome to this video on the registration process in GST. GST is the most significant indirect tax reform in India since independence. GST registration process has been designed to be very simple and easy for the businesses. In the current indirect tax regime, multiple registrations are required under different tax regimes, both under the center and states. Further, the registration process of each authority has different requirements. GST will do away with the hassle of multiple registrations. Under GST, a taxpayer needs to take only one registration in the state from where he is making the supplies. The existing taxpayers under central excise, service tax, VAT need not register again under GST. They would be automatically migrated to the GST regime. The new registration process under GST is designed to improve ease of doing business. The taxpayer need not run from pillar to post to apply for a registration. It will be completely online and user friendly. In case the taxpayer is not well versed with the internet, he need not worry. Facilitation centers and tax return preparers will be set up to help the taxpayer in filing online registrations. New taxpayers will also get registration within three days of application for registration. The applicants need not visit any office or authority to get the registration. It will be completely online. A taxpayer seeking registration in more than one state or for more than one business vertical located in a single or multiple states will be able to file multiple applications at one go. So who needs to register? If you are a supplier in states other than Northeast or Sikkim, it is compulsory for you to register for GST when your aggregate turnover exceeds a threshold limit of 18 lakh rupees. However, you are not liable to pay tax until your aggregate turnover exceeds 20 lakh rupees. If you are a supplier in Northeast or Sikkim, you have to register when the turnover exceeds a threshold limit of 9 lakh rupees. However, you are not liable to pay tax until your aggregate turnover crosses 10 lakh rupees. Though only a person with turnover over the prescribed threshold limit needs to register under GST, the system also provides for voluntary registration. By opting for voluntary registration, the taxpayer can avail credit of taxes paid on his inward supplies and also collect GST on his outward supplies. This way, the taxable person would save on his cost and avoid cascading of tax borne by him. His products would thereby become more competitive in the market. So what exactly is aggregate turnover? It is the total value of all taxable, non-taxable supplies, exempt supplies and exports. However, it does not include those supplies on which tax is levied on a reverse charge basis. Also, the following categories of taxpayers have to compulsory register irrespective of threshold. If the registration is granted, the registration certificate will automatically be generated by GSTN and the taxpayer can download it from there. He need not visit any tax office. There will also be no physical verification of the premises by any tax authority prior to issuance of registration certificate. Physical verification after issuing of the registration certificate will also be very limited and is to be based only on certain risk parameters. Now registration comes with both benefits and obligations. Benefits include the ability to collect taxes and pay to the government, the ability to claim input tax credit on one's purchases, and the ability to pass on the input tax credit to one's buyers. Obligations include timely filing of returns including nil returns, timely payment of taxes, proper maintenance of purchase and sales details, subjection to periodic audits by the indirect tax authorities, and the need to display GST registration number on all the invoices. Such a simplified and uniform approach of registration in GST across India would integrate the economy and would lead to India becoming a true economic union. For more information on GST registration, please visit the following link. One Nation, One Market, One Tax.